Well, the face of feeding South Dakota will become less visible in the community after this summer. Longtime CEO Matt Gassens announced that he's retiring after more than two decades with the organization. Kelland's Perry Groton sat down with Gassen to find out what went into his decision. Matt Gasson has overseen Feeding South Dakota's growing outreach from his Sioux Falls office since 2002, but he says it's the right time to step aside and make way for new leadership. I've been blessed with 13 grandkids. I got nine of those that live here in Sioux Falls, and uh, you know they're getting to that ages where they're getting more and more involved with activities, and um, you know I want to be able to. To, to help. Gasson says the challenges brought on by the pandemic also influenced his decision to retire. I, I'd be lying if I didn't say that that was part of that, one of those factors that uh, helped me make this decision that, uh, you know, it was, it's hard. You know, and at my age, it was, uh, it was, it was a tough year. Feeding South Dakota's board of directors will hire an outside firm to help find Gasson's replacement. The nonprofit's finance director, Sue Willard, says there'll be big Definitely. shoes to fill. Um, you know, Matt, you'll see him on a forklift, you'll see him giving presentations. Um, he does it all. When Gasson first started with Feeding South Dakota, the nonprofit was mainly an emergency source of food for families. But its mission changed with the 2008 recession as families needed food over a longer period of time. And I think the pandemic is just kind of a, another boost to that. To the, 2000, to the recession of 2008, the people that um, were impacted by this pandemic are going to be with us for a long time. As the pandemic has further increased the demand for healthy meals for families in need, Gasson is confident Feeding South Dakota will step up to the challenge as he steps down. There's people that still need to be fed, um, and we just can't let off the gas. Uh, this organization has got to keep pressing forward in Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Kelloland News. Gasson says the highlights of his time as CEO include the merger of food banks in Rapid City and Sioux Falls back in 2004, and more recently starting the backpack program that provides free meals to South Dakota school kids.